Now I have gone to many crane game locations in Japan. Everybody knows I'm practically obsessed with doing this. But today I'm in a very special one because this location in Sendai, way up north in Japan, has the most crane games of any single venue ever in the history of crane game and man. I have and a beautiful $1,000 that I'm going to be giving to me and Chris Broad to see who can win the most prizes. And it's up to you guys at home to decide on Twitter, specifically, who won. Give me the money. <laughs> Connor has given me like a plastic bag, a sack to put all my coins in. This one has cups where you can keep your coins in, but luckily we don't need that. I've come prepared. I've done this many times. I brought a Ziploc bag like a drug dealer. And so after exchanging our completely useless paper money to heavy rock solid metal coins, it was time to go on an adventure to waste all my money. Now, this is a competition. The rules of this competition, if you didn't watch the last episode, are simple. Both of us will be given $500 each, provided by yours truly. And whoever wins the most exciting prizes is deemed by you, the viewers on Twitter, will win the competition. Last time I did this video against Gaunt Giga, I just about managed to win according to you guys. So let's see if I'll win again or a new challenger will dethrone me. Unfortunately, I chose to go for quite the difficult one at first. Man, this has got a banging song to it. You like... Oh, that's so slow. Okay, that, I mean, that was perfect. <laughs> I mean, that's as perfect as it gets. Look at that. What the f***? What am I supposed to do? Oh my God, it doesn't even do anything. It like tickles it. It's like... <laughs> okay, this is good. Oh, what the f***? That was so close. Now there's no way I can get it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going insane. Okay, I feel it. I don't feel it. I don't feel it at all. That was a lie. I'm gonna take my money back elsewhere. I'm done. Meanwhile, Chris was trying to win something a little more practical. As I said earlier, my car literally covered in crap. Biscuits, crisps everywhere. No thanks to Connor. I want to hoover up the mess. I want to keep my car tidy. Let's win the hoover. I reckon we're gonna get this first time. Let's try again. My tactic is to try and get the end of it, push it up so it goes through the two little vents, through the bars. Unfortunately, Chris's confidence quickly dissipated as his lack of crane game knowledge began to show. What are we, what, how does this work? I'm gonna try one more round. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, yes, yes, yes. From what I understand, these crane game machine things, after like 10 or 15 attempts, probably more than that, the crane gets stronger so it can lift things up, right? It's sort of, I don't wanna use the word rigged, but the crane actually gets a lot stronger. Of course, you don't know at what point it is, right? Maybe a hundred people have used this, maybe three people. You never know how close you are to the point where the crane is actually useful and works. And that is correct. And Japan does have those crane games, but the one that Chris was playing isn't like that. It requires you to nudge it slowly over and over again. Let's get out of here. I hate this thing my life. This is a type of crane game I have never seen before. What you have to do is pick up the bucket, bounce it on the balloon or bouncy ball in the middle, and hope that it bounces to either side and goes down. Really cool idea. Never seen it before. Let's see how well it goes. Um, let's go for the chocolate one. It's Chelsea, so I'm guessing it's supposed to be British with your tea. Oh, la la. I'm British. Look at me. I'm actually British. Why am I doing that? Oh. <laughs> no way. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Look at that grip, man. This is gonna bounce in, I'm calling it. Let's go, man. Let's go. I wanna keep going. That's really fun. Meanwhile, whilst I was winning, Chris was struggling to contain himself and his enjoyment with all of his new money. Oh my God, the money, literally, it's raining money all over the floor. There's nothing harder than getting a coin off the floor. Is there a strategy? Is there a tactic? This is the real game. This is what desperation looks like, getting coins off the floor. I think the trick is to grab it at the back so it bounces forward. And maybe I was a little too close to the side, but we'll see. Oh, that, look at that grip, man. That's insane. Man, this is profit already, oh my God. I'm gonna get a gift for Connor because he's a very special friend and I like Connor so much. I know he likes monkeys. He often refers to himself as a monkey or something. So let's win him a monkey. Go, 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 go. Oh, oh, go! Son of a bitch. Love the music, though. It's pretty cool. Come on, come on, come on. No! Come on. Oh, come on now. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling very annoyed now. Five coins, 600 pounds. Machine just broken. You break the machine. I've only been there 20 minutes. I've already broken my first machine. My coin's gone in, but nothing's happening. Let's put more in. 
I must have put like a thousand yen in this now. See my sim. All right, this is kind of greedy. We'll see if this one works. We've got a grip. We've got grip. Oh my God. They're going to ban me in a second. I'm fixing the game. Look at this. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, well, we're done here. We've already made profit. $10. Three boxes of chocolate. That's pretty good. So far, we've spent about 3,000 yen. All I've had to show for it is a broken machine and relentless disappointment. Not a great start so far. So this next machine is also quite a rare machine I've not seen before. Essentially, there is a magnet in a small plastic ball. The magnet needs to hold onto the metal boxes on some edges or corners, and then simply drag it over the edge to win your prize. All right, let's just go for the almonds. I love almonds. Shout out to the almonds. Best nut in the game. Well, I got it right in the middle. I mean... That is, uh, excuse me? Fortunately, it didn't quite work out as I'd imagined. But over with Chris, he was struggling just a little bit more than usual. Mr. I see this guy. Are you? Yeah, no. Come on. Yeah, okay, I don't yeah. do it. Happens a lot, apparently. They're pretty vocal here about how this place is the Guinness World Record number of crane games. Guinness World Record for most amount of money stolen from abroad in Japan in one morning. Oh, <laughs> uh, Still trying to play while the machine itself is being repaired. What's Chris doing? The machine took my money. I put in 700 yen and I was trying to win you a toy monkey. I had to get a woman over to try and fix it and she, she got her hand stuck. For 10 minutes I was watching. Here's, here's in the end she gave up. Oh, here's off. my chocolate supply. You, how, where'd you win that? I won it with, 10, uh, with $10. Look at this machine. This is, a, this is a joke, this. Look at this. This is magnet, apparently. Magnet. Right, yeah, watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. I put, I put $5 in this. Fuck. Fuck off, Chris. So chocolate is my favorite thing after fried chicken. Let's see if fate is smiling upon us slightly more. <laughs> That was shit. It looks so precariously close to the edge though. I'm at a crossroads now. Do I give up? I've already put $5 in this. I think I can get one of these for another five. Do five, it, five, do five, it. Five. If I lose, I lose, you know? I make documentaries about important things like a tree. I haven't had time to play crane games. Maybe this will do something. <laughs> that, oh, it's so close, man. I have to keep going. I mean, I'm gonna put three in. I think I can do it in three and two maybe. Maybe this is good. I don't know. $12. All right, nice. Oh God, all these prizes. I got to carry them. Oh Jesus. How are you going to drive them home? What car are you going in? Because it's not going to be my car. Well, let's go to Giorgio. I think that's going to be a good idea. I have a feeling he's going to be difficult because his legs are kind of under the sign a little bit. So even if we do pick him up, he's going to be like dragging. So we're going to try our best though. <laughs> got my money back. She took pity on me. The machine took my money. They gave me like two free goes. So we're back at the monkey, just in time to lose again. The second of my three attempts. No. 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 <laughs> I genuinely believed I had it then. We're not leaving this machine until I win that f***ing monkey. Come on, come on, come on. I mean, stop opening when you get to the top. It's not how physics works. I'm seeing that maybe going for the, the big head is maybe the option here. Huh. Okay. Let me... I'm so dumb. That's not the proudest moment I've had on cotton film. What you can do is use a claw on like the head to like move it to one side. If you move the claw over enough and then the claw opens, right? Yeah, I know. Let's see how that works. His legs are sort of crossed over and I'm wondering if I can get the crane between his legs, maybe that will hold onto the crane better. Chris's strategies were paying off. But either way, I've missed the whole monkey entirely. So that, no strategy at all. That's another 500 yen up in smoke. So close. The shop staff sort of hovering around me looking nervous as they see me gradually getting angrier and angrier. Probably think I'm gonna smash the machine. <laughs> and they wouldn't be wrong. Now I'm enjoying this, right? This is the first hour. It's fun, we're having a great time, winning cool prizes. After like the first hour is when Chris will start to experience true pain. And he's already complaining. He's gonna be like complaining his ass cheeks off in like two hours. Okay, finally. Oh, yes. $8 for the, that, that, that 
That's so good, man. I'm so glad we're killing it so far. Whilst I was busy winning the entire venue, Chris was still trying to get one curious George. I actually don't believe this. I've spent all the money that I turned into coins already. I've just changed up another 3,000 yen. $30 into coins to get this damn monkey once and for all. If I can't do it with this, I'm going to commit seppuku. Spoiler alert, this doesn't end well for Chris. Oh my God, look how many new ram figures are. Puppy ram, we have fairy ram, we have a cheerleader ram. They're really just killing us out here, man. Like it's, it's hard being a ram fan because you just have to go financially bankrupt every five months. They release one of these like every week, man. I'm happy, but I'm angry at the same time. I gotta f win it, oh, that's what it. Just wanna hold it in my hands. What does it feel like to touch this stupid monkey? Stared through it through the glass for like an hour now. I actually hate crane games. There's a reason I've never made a video on them. I hate them so much. You're coming home with me today, Rem. We're gonna try and flip it. Oh, okay, that works too. That works too. He's insane. He's actually, what did they feed me this morning? I've turned hacks on. We don't turn the hacks on. There's a little bit of like plastic at the end there for the cords. There's a little tag saying made in China with plastic. If I can get the crane thing through there, even when the crane opens, it should still sort of be wrapped around it. It should still be sort of hanging onto it. It's genius, right? It was not genius. Bad example, but that was close. I'm feeling optimistic for the first time in the last hour. Oh no, 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 we hit it too early. Right at the bottom, right? I need to pick up the bottom of the box, but that means the claw can't hit the side of the box first, otherwise it will close before it gets there. It'll stop trying to open it. So we need to kind of pre correctly predict the edge. This might work. Okay, like that, like this, exactly like this. Didn't do anything, Fuck. Another $10. Close, close. Oh my God. I think I'm going to give up on that strategy and just go for his head again. That won't do anything. Men want one thing and it's disgusting. The limited edition dog rem figure. His legs are dangling over the edge into the abyss of my winning. Come on, come on, come on. No, if I win this monkey, I'm going to cover it in petrol and burn it. Hey Chris, stop monkeying around. Shut up. For the heads, for the heads, for the heads. Oh my lord. I think this one you have to ask for a reset, it's stuck. I think this can still work. <laughs> Every time I hit it, I roll it over, it just rolls over. And unfortunately, after 30 whole hard spent dollars, it didn't look like I was going to be able to get Rem in its current state. So I did what any good Japanese crane game player would do, ask the staff for help. Oh, see my thing. Oh, Whilst I was being a little baby boy getting help from the big adults, Chris was busy spending so much money on one single ape that he probably rejuvenated this entire store. Just think, right? The net value of this monkey, probably $3 or something. And we've already spent $35 worth of money on it. There's no economical sense. The only thing you come away with is disappointment and stress. And there's a little stupid smiling face. Oh, that might be bad. Oh, that might have been bad. Oh no, I did it again! $25. <laughs> Rem, shut the f up for two seconds and get down the goddamn hole. Maybe I can put my hand like in. I can go like under. Yeah. Okay, no, I can't do that. All right, well, that was a good thought. See my fan. Cheat codes for the second time. <laughs> yes! Shout out to that guy, he's amazing. It did it more. All right, this is it. For the last time I'm going to do this today before I go and kill myself. Yes, no. After spending over $100 on a curious George that Chris didn't even get, he decided to go for something a little easier. Let's go and get some food. So this one, another dodgy crane game. And some of these are like kind of perilously close to the edge. So it should be doable. If trying to win a monkey for the last hour has taught me anything, it's don't be too optimistic when playing crane games. Come on, come on, strawberry koala thing. This is the least amount of fun I think I've ever had in my life. Yes! <laughs> I love it, I love crane games so much. I won the thing. It's the first time I've won a crane game in the last hour and a half. Yes! I don't think I'm going to have it. If you pick a different game, he'll put yeah, it here. Okay. There you go. Uh, because I haven't felt pain enough today, I'm going to try and get another rem. We'll see how it goes. 
No, 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 I wanted it to. Mm. I really wanted it to flip over, actually. I think that was to my benefit. And now it begins. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We just gotta not tip it. That's all we gotta do is just not tip it. Just move it. Don't tip it. I'm begging you. We're gonna be eating good tonight, boys. We're gonna be eating good. Okay, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Oh, that looks good. No! <laughs> Dip. The reason why I'm so devastated by the box just simply flipping over is that in this position it's actually really difficult to actually get the prize. There's pretty much no way to turn it and it won't really do anything if you pick it up. I'll see my face. But whilst I was recovering from that loss, Chris had already found his next prize. I'm not really a fan of Chipstar. Imagine Pringles, but dreadful. And that's chip star. This game is super simple. It's a ring of lights and you need the light to stop on one of the blocks where one of the arms is located. If you stop it on one of those arms, it drops. One, two, three. Oh, come on. Gotta use the force. Here we go. We close my eyes. It didn't work. The force doesn't work. And after having the box reset, it was time for me to try again for Rem. I got one turn left, so I gotta kind of shimmy it along, but he's in a better position now. This looks good. One. $15. Oh, that's clean. Oh, that's clean. Oh, no. What is that? What, what, what do I do with that now? Yes! Oh. Profit. If you ever go to play crane games in Japan, I implore you to learn the word help. And please, as let's be honest, there's no reason for you to waste more money than you need to on these crane game prizes. So don't be afraid to ask the staff for a little bit of help. If I can get that one at the end over there, which is definitely never, ever going to happen, then like the whole thing will topple and I'll have a monopoly on all the world supply of Chipstar. So let's put another 500 yen in. Oh, yes. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Okay, nothing happened. Yay, we've won the most paltry, pathetic, Hello Kitty, fluffy marshmallow sweets. I really want to do win the chip star. I feel like we've, we've done a lot of the legwork, so we're going to change up some more money and we're going to do it. I can feel it. Coincidentally, I also found one of these games to enjoy and had my eye on the Tower of Pocky. I was determined to win every single Pocky here. That's hard, man. Again? Oh, Okay, one down, one down. There was a total of five arms that I needed to drop. What am I aiming at? What the fuck am I aiming at? Oh, no. How much have you spent so far already? $15. And it's been like uh, two minutes. This is a money sink, bro. I'm so hungry. Trying to win a monkey for the last 90 minutes has taken the life out of me. So I'm gonna have to cannibalize some of my own winnings and eat this marshmallow chocolate thing from Hello Kitty. The word regret springs to mind, but I'm so hungry. I've invested about 3,000 yen and all I've got to show for it were two marshmallow sweets, one of which I've eaten already. Oh, in goes the money, wasted forever. At least this is Connor's money and not my money. Like, if this was my money, I would be so depressed right now. But like, it's Connor's money, and so we can waste it as much as we want. That was not what I went for, but that's good. Oh, nothing fair came down. Okay, if I can hit this one, everything is gonna come down. That's a joke. I... That's f***ed up. Okay, we're gonna get this. No. And although I missed so many times, finally, I did it. Watch it fall, watch it fall. You... Nothing fell down? And nothing happened. I had to get the other two as well. All right, well, this is gonna take way more money than I thought it was gonna take. This is what, $30 now, yep. 25? Yeah. I get the impression we're not going to win this one. Three more attempts and I'm done. Look how close it was. All right, I give up. But then I don't. I feel like I've put so much money in that surely one of them must topple. One of them's got to go. This is how, how gambling addictions start, isn't it? Come on. All right, well, I'm done. Oh, come on. 
but one. Is it just all, it's all on this one. This is literally like my editor holding up my channel. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that felt so good. And due to the fact that I was extremely excited that I won, I'd kind of gathered a bit of a crowd. So I decided to give some Pocky away. Okay, that was kind of fun. That was kind of sick. That was kind of cool, right? All right that was awesome. Imagine the look on Connor's face if I were to come round the corner clutching the world's biggest tube of crisps. I feel like it could be worth it. You have to stop it and then the conveyor belt incrementally moves forward. Oh, hey, we won. Bonus. Hey, even more things. Putting all my winnings in the bag because I'm a winner, yeah. Just ignore the whole first hour of the show where I tried to win a fucking monkey that didn't work. And I don't care how much money it costs, I'm not leaving this machine until I get one of those big tubes. I've said that three times on three different crane games today and I've given up. I'm not giving up now. Hey. Time to change some more money up. Don't mind me, don't mind me. <laughs> what about your prizes? The first hour, I went for really high value things and won nothing. I went for like a vacuum cleaner, I won nothing. Did you not ask them for help? You can ask them for help. If you've got it in a position that's too hard, ask them, hey, can, can you put it in an easier oh. position? That's oh. why I've got all these. Brilliant. I've won too many things. Show you, I'll show you. I don't want to get hooked on this type of machine, but uh, you know your boy needs it. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's so close. Right about now, we need a magnitude six earthquake and I will win those pizza flavored crisps. Get ready for this. This is going to be big. <laughs> what? You f***ing what? <laughs> the Leaning Tower of Pizza. Pizza. Pe the Leaning Tower of Pizza. I don't know what I'm saying. I've gone mental trying to play this bloody game. Look at this. The, the glass is literally going to smash because all the crisps are leaning against it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Are you taking the piss now? They're so desperate for these crisps to not fall off. Oh my. What? No. It's stuck. It says if it touches the black, yeah. if it's stuck on the black part, then it counts as a win. Um. So we want to call someone over. Yeah. All right. Wait. Here. Stupid. Game. Oh, this is faster than the one before. Okay, one down already. Nice, nice. Uh, yo, okay. Oh, I'm gonna shit myself. This is so difficult. I did not shit myself. Is it getting harder or am I getting stupider? I don't... <laughs> yes, here we go. One down. We're getting this friend too. Oh. Did I really win? The staff came over. I was like, I think I've won. She was like, oh yeah. And then she just put them back on the shelf as though I hadn't won them. It turns out she was wrong. Another member of staff came over and she was like, oh no, 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 you've got it wrong. He did win. And thus, yes, I've won. Right in the middle of the two. This is the $200 that I just got out and we've gone through it. Uh, lightning speed. Oh, that felt rigged. Can we, can we have a replay? Oh, I stopped it there. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Very cute. Very cute, yeah? Look at him. This is the only way Connor wins. He, he like bribes the staff. Oh, look at that. Can you knock that one off the edge for me? Can you knock it over? Sorry, can you help me? I do it by the book. Chris is getting angry because he just can't win. So this game is a bit of a strange one, actually. Again, another one I've never seen before. The nib will go down when you press the button. The idea is that you want to hit the yellow line and it'll cause it to tip, giving you, hopefully, some of the delicious prizes. It was worth coming over this side just to see Chris salty. Yeah, it was worth coming all this way just to see Chris in a mental breakdown. That was worth it. Look at the size of this. You could, like, kill someone with this. Like Connor. I don't understand this machine. This is weirdly really fun. I'll try two more times, five more times, that's it. Half of them aren't even falling in. What the f What is going on? Hey, yo, no, 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 no. All right, next machine. But Chris, undeterred, went back to Curious George to waste even more money. 
Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's so close. Come on. That was the perfect, the perfect shot. Uh, of course it wasn't. Do you know what the definition of insanity is? Have you played Far Cry 3? That was shit. Categorically shit. Do you want to console the prize? You want I've already got like four of these in my bag. Did you actually, did you actually get some? Yeah. <laughs> this is it. That was a pretty good attempt. Right, f this. Time to get to more money, more problems, as they say. Is this not the cutest Kirby you've ever seen in the history of Kirby's? All right, how many attempts is it gonna take? 50, 100? One. One year, one take. First time. I'm gonna regret putting all this money in because I'm gonna get it in one take. This is gonna be so easy. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. This is a her sword from Kirsten Yaiba. As much, that's, what is that? I just turned around, what on earth is that? That is so cursed. Okay, that does not open that much. A learning process, a learning process. Yeah, first one is always learning. So we just need to keep nudging this box ever so slightly towards the edge and hope that we can get it to turn to a 90 degree angle and it'll fall down. I'm taking in the information, PC. Calculation's done. Okay, ready. We're gonna lock it in. It's gonna be a dub. Okay, shit, that was part of the calculation. Part of the calculation. This is going to take at least $20. At least. Oh, is that good? I think that's good. Oh my God, perfect. Oh, we got some good movement there. It's nice to do something with someone who's saltier than me for once. You know, that's really nice. I, I really do miss that. Oh, that's good. That's clean. Oh, that's clean, all right. Ooh, right between. Oh, we're so close to getting this. This is, this is in the bag. And with surgical precision, I won myself a Kimitsu no Yaiba sword. Nice. Winning is just a state of mind and I have it. But Chris had spotted a prize that even I didn't see. Something quite practical, I'd say. This would make up for the first hour I spent trying to win that bloody monkey. I could do it, I could do it, I could do it. The only thing worse than this is watching a Sea Dog VA video. It's the only thing more excruciating than this bloody crane game. It's going! It's literally, it's going! It's actually going! We're going to win a needle maker. Come on. Yeah! We won the needle maker! Oh, yeah! Noodle maker! At last I've won something worth winning! And look at the blatant rip off of Cup Noodles logo and the branding. I love it. Life has just got worth living. And in my attempt to get an amusing reaction out of Chris, I decided I was going to try and win a prize that he had attempted and failed. I see when Chris might have had some difficulty here. Have you want me my hoover yet? I'm trying to get a hoover for me. I put like 2,000 yen into that. But like Icarus, I had flown too close to the sun and it turns out this was just a really hard prize to get, so I gave up. And that is how I got humbled. Hey, everybody loves Pringles, especially me. I love the way my portfolio of winnings mainly consists of crisps, potato chips, and was that money rolling away? My money's ro literally rolling away. <laughs> my coin like ran under the machine all the way to you. It knows, it's like, please, I guess someone who knows how to use me, please. <laughs> how much do Pringles cost for, for a can? Shut up. How much do they cost? Just wondering. 100 yen for one of them. 100 yen, 200, it's 200 yen, right? No. Oh. So if you get five now, Oh, whoa. Hey, I got a one yen sweet. Yes. It's worth 500 yen. Watch this. Yeah, I'm watching. Shit. You gotta get the deal. Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Pringles? Made, made uh, it's hard, it's hard. Bollocks. Oh. Not when you're dealing with the best of the best. As I was saying a minute ago, literally all my willings is just food. <laughs> <laughs> I, need like, I need a teddy bear. I need to get a teddy bear, don't I? Let's get some teddy bears. <laughs> Yeah, Pac-Man, the perfect grab. And it's gonna let go, watch this, yeah, of course it does. People come here on like a date. Can you imagine coming here on a date? With me? Angrily shouting at machines. Would be an awful date, in hindsight. I don't think that had anything to do with the crane games. How dare you? You're the worst cameraman ever. It wasn't me. You just touched me. Took the cat hair off you. Oh shit. I must admit, I, I don't feel as excited winning stuffed toys as I do getting food. From this angle, it looks like he's mocking you. Laughing at me. 
sneering at me. Bastard. If you let me win, I'll take you home. No, no. All right, no more Pac-Man. Unfortunately for Chris, his aim isn't quite as good as his level of insult creativity, so he didn't walk away with a Pac-Man plush. I decided I would revisit a fun game from earlier, the bouncy ball one. Watch this, this is gonna be one go. Huh. How am I this good? This is not gonna work, yeah. Wow! Jackie Chan flip, holy f No, the other chocolate blocked it, the bitch! Okay, let's um... Uh, uh. I've got one so far, let's get a second one. Oh shit, that's bad. I faltered. Actually, 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 maybe not. Bruh. A simple bouncy ball game, I can't even win anymore. Chris, failing to learn his lesson from earlier, decided to go for Curious George, but bigger. If I can win this, maybe this will make up for the horror show. The absolute cluster that was the first hour of today's crane game session. Biggest claw I think I've ever seen. Dun, 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 dun. The crane is so big, it made like a, a really loud noise when it, oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, Curious George. Curious George. Get us. Honestly, after today, I never want to look at a monkey again. I especially never want to look at Connor ever again either. Come on. Yes. No. Right, that's that end of that bit. Never again. When I get home, I'm going to download some software that blocks Curious George from ever appearing anywhere on my laptop. And that was the story of how Curious George stole $300 off Chris. Are you winning? You bet I'm winning. At life. How many have you won? Oh, so much. So much winning. I just want to win. <laughs> Down to my last coins. No, no. I need some chuppa chups lollies. I need to eat something. I need some sugar. I feel like I've run a marathon today. A marathon of pain and crap and horror. Why are you putting all your money in? I want those Chopper Chops lollies. This is like a kid's game. You're supposed to win this, but even this game's rigged as well. What if you come here as a kid, like, mummy, let's win the sweets. Oh, mummy, I put in all my pocket money. It's f***ing gone. What do you learn as a kid? Like, never have friends, never have money, never have fun. Stupid game. <laughs> I hate this so much. I hate crane games. I don't know who designed them, but I'm going to go back in time and shoot them in the foot. I'm not going to murder them. I'm going to just cause them pain, like they've caused me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> no. I want to I wanna go on the chuppa chups. No, you, f you're going to win. <laughs> I want to try. It's like all my bags are in the way. Hold on. All my winnings are in the way. Oh, gosh, what am I going to do? I didn't win any chuppa chups. Chris had spent all of his money, and I was nearly done spending all of mine. I wanted to try and get some popcorn for the end. But this game was a bit of a weird one. You had to try and pull the elastic band above the box so it would fall out. The difficulty being that the rubber band is tensioned quite heavily, and it's really hard to get it to move at all. That's actually pretty good. That looks pretty good. Oh! Oh. Hey yo, what the f***? That literally did like a flip. When you signed up to do this video with me, what did you think was going to happen? Oh my, I think I just pushed it up, didn't I? I thought fun was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is $500, go and buy some things. Yeah. And all I've done is win nothing and waste about three hours of my life. It definitely hasn't moved, that's it, I'm out. I'm out, no more popcorn. Fish. And now that we had spent all of our money, it was time to review the prizes. All right, we've had a good adventure today at the Crane. Uh, good, yeah. yeah. Honestly, I think my blood pressure has gone up like 60% in the last six hours. I don't think Curious George was meant to make people violent. That's a first for everything, I suppose. But this part of the video, we're going to be reviewing what we won and kind of making a case to you, the viewer, who got the best items and who won the most. And I guess who you're going to vote for is the winner. Should be difficult. I got... And these were a nightmare to hoist around the store. We got the uh, potato chips, pizza flavor crisps, and ready salted. Yeah. And then this little bag of... Uh... All right, nice. Not bad, that's not bad. Let's just start with one bag I have. Sorry, it's all falling out. There's just too much of it. That's one. We got another big bag. There's nothing wrong with that. And let's don't forget, got another really heavy bag on, on top of that. So I, I, I'm quite the haul. You have a good amount though. Like, yeah, it's like you've got something. It took me a long time to get this. It probably took 25 minutes of effort. This is... Wagyu beef jerky. Everyone is, like you is, like beef jerky. Is it really? Is it really? Wagyu? Wagyu, really? Wagyu beef jerky. From a crane? From a crane. So how much does it cost you to win this? 40 US dollars. That'd be some good, damn good beef. <laughs> this is like Wagyu harami steak and this is gyu tongue. Tongue or steak. Did you try the Wagyu? Okay, so here we go. There's like four slices in there. All right, let's take one. Extra salami. 
It's pretty awful. Wag you what? Wag you tire? What do you think of beef jerky? You think of spices and seasoning? No. And this is none of that. It's kind of like they've done the bare minimum. Four out of ten. That's kind of shit. Come on then, one up me with your goodies. Your sack of winnings. Oh. Oh my god, what's that? Why is there so much pocky? So I think I spent $50 to get maybe $20, $25 worth of pocky. You know, I mean, there are worse prizes to win. You know, beef jerky, I think, is one of them. Like, at least we got a good variation here. It's not all the You got all the flavors of pocky. This was an ice cream treat. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Yeah. These are what, what, 10 yen? 10 yen. They look bit. Why is there off a. It's like there's crumbs all over your table, Chris. How many did you eat? One. Uh, Shut up. These are good. Umai ball, delicious stick. Like a Cheeto. Yeah, like 10 yen, right? Yeah, you open it up. Best 10 yen you could possibly spend. Oh, it's not a bad price. Oh, and that was the marshmallow. How much did it cost? I don't want to talk about it. How much did it cost? Probably about 4,000 yen. <laughs> For one marshmallow? It's from Demon Slayer. Have you seen Demon Slayer? You bet I haven't. How have you not seen Demon Slayer? It's everywhere. I love the scene where he like slays the demons. <laughs> so how much did you spend on this Demon Slayer sword? This one? Maybe, I think 20, 25. Oh, that doesn't, that's, that's pretty underwhelming. It's a sword, you can't have it in the It'd be a real sword. In a crane game yeah. that 10 year olds win. Whoa, don't ruin it, it's a collector's item. If anyone who's watching this show has seen Kimetsu no Yaiba, they would love it. <laughs> they would love this. She doesn't slash with this, she pokes, right. pokes to death. That's why it's a, it's poisonous. Hope the salad it's poisonous. Oh my, my goodness. This is the most expensive, most brilliant thing I've won. And I, and I did it in like, Mere sh seconds or minutes. How much did you spend on it? Probably about 2,000 yen. This is a noodle maker. You can make noodles. You can put the whole ramen in there. You can put the whole ramen. Check this out. How insanely cool is that? Okay, that's actually pretty sick. All right. Who's, I've, I've won. No. I've, I've won. Of course I've won. Look at that. How is that? This looks like an electrical hazard. This looks like it'll burn your house down. Next time Connor's in the bath, I'll, tell, I'll chuck this in the bath. Oh, look at it. Let me have a feel for it. Let me have a feel for it. What? It's already stained. What? <laughs> Chris. I, I mean, it's definitely the coolest thing you've got so far. I hope, I hope you've got cooler than this. Um, That's, that, is, that is cool. Comment, guys. Comment, please. Comment. Help comment. me. Comment your favorite anime, Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, I love Jujutsu, J Jujutsu Kaisen. A really nice quality, you know? You can squish the head, it bounces. Smells like premium fabric to me. Yeah, I know. You should not be bigging up my items, but I mean... Yeah, oh, it's shit. Yeah, it's shit. Smells like... That one's a cute one, right? Smells like cholera. Yeah. Cholera. <laughs> I got this in maybe 30 bucks, both of these. The thing I hauled around the store, more than anything, with these crisps, right? What I want to know is how many crisps are inside it to warrant this size, okay, right? I, I know how many because really? I've won this before. It must be a lot, right? And there's a reason why I didn't win it again. All right, here we go. One, two. That's quite a lot. More than I was expecting, to be fair. So, you have paid for three bags of pizza potato. It's probably like 5,000 yen worth of crisps. 500 yen. 5,000. 500 yen. Five dollars worth of crisps, and how much did it take you to get it? Sure. Dinner. Dinner. I mean, they are good. But how much did you spend on getting it? That's what I want to know. $40. On a piece of cardboard and three bags. On a piece of cardboard filled with more air than potato chips. Kirby. Oh, Kirby's good. What's happening to Kirby's face, though? It's Kawaii Kirby. And I also got a Pokemon. Isn't that a cute Pokemon, though? To be a Pokemon, you've got to be in, orig in the original lineup. Literally. After that, they got greedy. They got carried away. They got, they got greedy. I like this one, though. This is pretty good. How much was this? I think this took me $20. What are you going to do with it? Maybe just give it to someone. I don't know. Give it away to one of the beautiful viewers watching this video. If you go to my Twitch channel, see Dog Koala bear. These are like little strawberry flavored koala bears. They're basically for children that are four. Isn't that better than a Kirby? Or a no, it's Blastoise, whatever it is. I wanna... No, oh, cacao. I think it's just dark chocolate, isn't it? I think I know what it's gonna taste like. I won these in $10 on the bouncing game. The ball one. Oh, the ball one. Yeah, and I won Crunchy Almond on the magnet game. Crun crunky Almond. Oh, crunky, sorry, crunky. <laughs> crunky. That's shit. Look at this metal box. For two f***ing bags. So about you, but I'm feeling rather crunky. But uh, scotch, okay. Oh, that's quite good. Let's dive in. So, I don't know. Are these popular? Have you seen them? I don't know what it is. There's only four layers of wrapping. Oh my god. There's a box. Serious. There's a wrapper. There's oh, another wrapper. Oh. oh. It's a butterscotch, it looks like. Well, there's original. <laughs> is it really? Oh, that's, that's, I like those. Next up, I won Pringles. Of all the crap on this table, this is probably the most delicious edible thing. Don't know about that. I spent $70 on this. Again, I don't understand the appeal of crane games or fun. Don't What's rent. that? Dog, Ram Dog. I'm not opening it, it's a collector's item. A ra Ram? What? Ram. 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 How's that spell? R-E-M. Ram. Ram. I thought you were saying Ram as in like a sh- No, that's, the, that's her sister. 
This is my favorite anime woman, my wifey. Okay. Where is Curious George? Did you not get him? Didn't you spend like $100 getting Curious George? No, I've got this thing. <laughs> Why? Oh, this feels like it has more in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six. Get out. Fucking <laughs> Chris. <laughs> It's literally more fun using it like this. Hello! <laughs> I didn't win Curious George. I'm really disappointed, right? <laughs> the one prize you could have won, you didn't win. I went back to it three times as a template. <laughs> I wanted this like really nice narrative arc where like, you know, I struggled, I got better, I caught it, and we all look happy ever after. I didn't get the f Curious George monkey, and I hate myself for it. <laughs> On it. More than anything ever. It was over $300. So you won these ready salted shit crisps. I did. Which we already established on my video. You don't even like these. They're horrible. Angel ram. Oh for God's sake, Fairy. what's that? Fairy ram. Why do you like this? She's cute. Hey, what else you got? That's it. No. That's it. What do, you mean, what do you mean? That's a lot of stuff. Five. Hundred dollars. It's not my money. You won maybe twenty dollars worth of prizes with my money. We established this is worth like no. a hundred dollars. It's knock off. This is even legal. Are they even allowed to sell this? Probably not, no. But like this is better than anything Connor's got times ten. So you think that this is worth more than my entire haul? In both monetary value and sentimental value. God. Okay, well I got more stuff. Easy to win and cheap, but it's practically nothing. Another Demon Slayer. Oh my, who's Demon Slayer? Who, <laughs> what is Demon Slayer? It's a show, Kimetsu no Yaiba. Oh yeah. You know Kimetsu no Yaiba. My favorite, isn't it? He looks like, like he's like, had some cocaine or something. Look at his face. How many drugs does he have <laughs> while slaying demons? So I have the sword, I've got the Kirby toy. To be fair, I'm still munching this butterscotch. This is good. You like it? Well, I'm leaving them here for you. Look wow, thank you. And then I've got all the Pocky and all that. So I think I've got quite the haul. I think I would value all my haul at around Retail, about $200, $250. When you look at my pile as well, it's a, lit a literal tower of feed here. It's a done deal. I think I've won this one. We've made our case for who should win. Now you need to go to Twitter and decide who's won the Crane Games. There'll be a poll on my Twitter for the next three days. Overall, Chris, how was your experience with the Crane Games? A one to 10? Yeah. Three. I thought you'd give it a one. I feel like it's time I'll never get back. <laughs> if I was to write a list of the things I enjoyed, and the things I didn't enjoy, I don't know what would go on the enjoy list. That sounds sad. For the most part, it wasn't fun. So much money was wasted. We could have like, you know, spent that on something good. Like a- Like what? A steak dinner. No. Mc a McDonald's would have been better. We can't film McDonald's us eating a McDonald's. I'm going to go back to that place and I'm just going to spend two days there getting curious, George. Without asking them to be like, oh, can you move it to the edge and help me? Like you did for your bloody demon slaying toy. Can you help me, please? I really want the demon slaying. Chris is angry because I asked for help twice. And I got help twice. I think for that reason, Connor shouldn't win. All right, well, that's enough of Chris's uh, excuses and complaints. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you do want to go and check out Chris and our Wacky Weekend series, go to his channel and uh, binge watch it all. Just binge watch, binge watch it. Well, that's been it. Uh, go and rewatch if you want to see Chris have a mental breakdown. Get out of my studio. Bye. Bye. Get out now. <laughs> Take your Pikachu and your Jigglypuff with you, you dickhead. <laughs>